not so hard. What's up, mi gente? This is Jericho Law with Barcada Music, and today I'll be showing you that the Silk Sonic sound isn't really that hard and that you can do it too. In fact, it's something that you hear all the time in other songs. You might not have known that, but today I'm going to show you. All right, today I'll be showing you guys two musical elements that are all throughout Silk Sonic's newest album, An Evening with Silk Sonic, which is fantastic. I really love the record. And it's two simple ideas that you can apply to your own music. So the first one is what's called static harmonies, or some people might call it oblique harmony. And it's a really simple idea. You have some notes that move while other notes stay, and then they kind of dance together. All right, first off, I'm gonna start with breaking down how they apply static harmony in Leave the Door Open, which is the first single off of the Silk Sonic's album and even with Silk Sonic, great album. So at the beginning of the video, you heard the part of Silk Sonic's song, uh, Leave the Door Open, that says, so if you're trying to lay in these arms. So in the first part of the Leave the Door Open, the melody on if you're trying to lay in these arms is moving like this. However, there's two other voices that are in there as well, and they're staying, which is the static part. Static means it's not moving around, right? So you put those in there, and they're basically holding like that, and then they jump, one jumps down and one jumps up. So the harmonies start there and then end up like this. Okay? So all together it sounds like this. If you try So the static part is the part that's not moving, and then the melody is moving. And it's a very common texture, and it creates this nice tension, this nice balance between the voices, and it creates that silk sonic sound. Now, you might also have heard that sound in songs like Break Free by Ariana Grande. You have also heard this in Stay by Alicia Cara. It's also used in Adore You by Harry Styles. So what I'm saying, my people, is you hear this all the time and it's really simple to apply it. But Silk Sonic isn't just a one trick pony. They like to apply the same musical element to different songs. It kind of feels a little bit different, but also familiar at the same time. So in the song Smoking Out the Window, they do this. So shout out to Anderson Pop for that little flam bata on the drums. Love that part. So on that part, the melody goes, I was wrong, she belongs. And that's the melody. However, around that is the static harmony that's happening. These notes here, which are also called chord tones, are just being held like that. And so all together you get this. I was But that's another application of the static harmony. Now, we at Barcada Music are big fans of all musical elements and applying them to different songs. So we actually have a dope song by an artist named Ron Velvet, and he did a song called Do You Want To? Forget the past, just relax. We can make it all better. So let's move on right here, right now. So when we were working with Ron Velvet on the bridge of this great song, Do You Want To, we decided to get little adventures with our harmonies. And so we applied the same technique, the static harmony to the bridge of Do You Want To. So I'm gonna play it right now, then I'll break down what happens near the end. Great song, you guys should download that right now. But uh, on the bridge, on the words right here, that's the melody right there, right here, right now. And then the harmony that goes around it are these notes. So one of them actually moves in parallel with the melody. And then when it goes here, these two notes move together. 
But you'll notice this one stayed still. And that's the static part. So static harmony just creates this nice tension between the parts that are moving and the music that's happening right there. So it kind of takes an understanding of the musical context and all that kind of stuff. But when you apply it in the right application, it's really cool. Okay, so here's the fun part, guys. I'm going to break this down so that you can apply it to your own songs that you're working on. Static harmony is really simple. Take one voice or one part that's moving, the melody, for example, and then one part, keep it static. So in this song that I just wrote right now called When It's Cold Outside, the melody goes, when it's cold outside. So if I just play that in the context of like a chord progression, maybe A minor to F. Let's do that. So if I add a harmony to it, let's say above, that stays on one note, when it's cold outside, then together, the melody and the harmony will sound like this. And so together with my chord progression, it sounds like this. I could change, make a D minor. application of static harmony or like I said before in the video some people call that oblique harmony basically one thing moves and one thing stays so when you have static harmony it creates this nice tension between the two voices or three however many you want to use so I hope you're able to apply it to some of your stuff and then you make some great music with it all right the second musical concept that Silk Sonic uses a lot is a little more complicated but I think it'll be pretty simple once I explain it it's called triad pairs and so simply what it is is you have two triads the triad being three notes separated by thirds like that and then you have another triad it doesn't really matter which one it is but i'll use two that are right next to each other and you basically make them revolve around each other so for example if i want to use c and d minor and then i made c and an inversion d minor i'm using triad pairs just simply using c and d minor so when you listen to a part of leave it open like this great song all they're doing is taking uh, A minor triad and moving it down to a G triad. Now this is a sound that's a little bit older, but also is a testament to why Slip Sonic sounds so dope because this style isn't used too much nowadays. Maybe because people don't know about it, um, but it definitely is indicative of the sound and they use it multiple occasions during this album. So A minor to G. And then when the chord changes, they do basically the same thing in reverse, G to A minor. So all together, it sounds like this. Just kidding. It sounds like this. I don't remember how to play anything. One, two. Ah, but I see you doubting out there, non-believer. You don't believe that they use that again, but they actually do. And they do this in the song after last night, they use the same triad pair idea. And here it is. And bonus, you might recognize the melody that's created in the way that they use this harmony. So here it is. Did you catch it? Let me play that again. It's very simple, out of my head. You hear it? You getting hungry? No? Here we go. But what they do is they harmonize it like this. Out of my head, that is a C minor, and that's a B flat. So the triads are a C minor and B flat. But if I kept moving them around, it would sound like that. So out of my head, like that. So that's another example of triad pairs. So if you're going for that subsonic sound, this is what you can do. You can basically take, I'll go back to a simple key, like the key of C, and I'll use uh, A minor and G, kind of in the way they do on leaves that are open, so you can see. Okay. Uh, let's say I want to go back to my incredible song, I can't believe you guys haven't heard it yet, uh, When It's Cold Outside. And if I, when it's cold outside, if I decided to make the harmonies move like this, my background singers basically and that's the application of triad pairs i have my a minor and i have my g so the tricky part about being able to do this effectively is you have to practice on whatever instrument you play well enough to be able to get through the inversions 
and inverted are simply the same three notes but in a different order. All right, so this is inverting A minor, and this is inverting G. And so together, when it's cold outside, much like Silk Sonic uses it. So I hope that helps you get that Silk Sonic sound in some of your music, triad pairs and static harmony. Two simple ideas, and they have a lot that they use throughout their music, but it's just a very good example of how you can take some vintage stuff, apply it to the modern, and really make some great music. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please click like, subscribe, so you can receive notifications when we have new videos, new stuff, new promotions. 2022 is gonna be very exciting for Barcada music. You need to stay tuned. I'm Jericho Law. Hope you guys have a great day. See you on the next one. Peace.